Just wanted to do a quick unboxing with some Nespresso items, which I'm so excited about because y'all know I love me. My Nespresso machine, I have been taking full advantage of it. I've been watching a lot of like coffee videos that has been like my guilty pleasure. And so I've been inspired to like try different pods and different recipes and stuff like that. So I got a few pods from Nespresso. I got a total of six sleeves as if I needed more pods. But want to try it so first one i got over here is orafio orafio no sé cómo decirlo but this is what it looks like and then i got malazio which i've had before malazio is actually pretty good but this is decaffeinato decaffeinato i don't really know what i'm saying it's the decaf basically which i kind of want to try you can see it much better there so I want to try this one because, you know, I don't need caffeine every single day. And if I want a second cup of coffee, which I usually never do, like I'm totally against two cups of coffee for me personally, just because coffee is very dehydrating. And if you're not balancing it out with a lot of water, your skin and everything is going to reflect that. So I try to just drink one cup of coffee, but we might taste test this today. And then I got the original Malazio just because like I mentioned it's a really good pod. And then I also have a new one which is Decaffeinito. So it's just literally decaf coffee here but it doesn't fall under any different like any specific coffee type. But also would love to try this one out. This I am excited about. These are ice cubes. Well not actual ice cube. Ice cube trays from Espresso as well. And the reason why I got them is because one, I needed a new ice tray. My ice tray just sucks. And then this comes in a pack of three. And they're stackable. So they will take less space in your fridge. And they're so cute. Let me lower the brightness so you guys could see this better. So like I mentioned, they are stackable. Look how pretty. It has a little Nespresso logo on it. Like the N. How cute are these colors? And they make decent size ice cubes that are supposed to fit like every cup. I thought they were adorable. I absolutely thought they were adorable. They're also in silicone ice trays. So that's always nice because it's easy to just pop it out from like the bottom. You just push it up. In the tray, the ice tray that I have, my ice always ends up breaking because I have like the plastic one where you have to like spin it or like twist it to get the ice cube to pop out. And it always crushes my ice and I don't like crushed ice. So this was 20 bucks. Kind of pricey for just ice trays but I figured the colors were really nice and the ice cube was pretty nice and big and and they stack up on top of each other. I'm not gonna take up that much space in your freezer, which is nice. Um, so that is my Nespresso haul. Oh, I lied. There's two more things that I got from this package. They gave me a sample of the double espresso, which I've been wanting to try. So I'm glad that I got that in the mail because I have been wanting to try the double espresso. And then I got chocolate from Nespresso as well. These are chocolate cubes, milk chocolate, specifically for hot chocolate. I mean, at least that's the main reason why I got it because I wanted to make hot chocolate. Not yet. I think hot chocolate is too soon for hot chocolate. I'll make that more like in November. So it was only $10 for 40 pieces of chocolate. They're individually wrapped. Whenever I make a hot chocolate, I will demo it. This, But I saw like videos on it and apparently it's really good rich chocolate for 10 bucks for 40 pieces. I was like, oh. Just restocked on the pods here. I added some new ones just to taste. Again, um, the new ones that I had were these, the red ones, and this one right here with like the red trim around it. Let's you know this is the Malazio decaf. And I actually have one here because this is the one that I'm gonna use. I love the Malazio one, it's really nice. I am curious to see what a decaf coffee tastes like. If you guys have ever had a decaf coffee, let me know because I am curious to see how that tastes. I wanna use I got this um bottle that I used earlier today for my latte again I never do two in a day but this one's decaf so we're gonna try it going to it's not gonna fit in this thing though even if I remove this it's not gonna fit so let's do this one this is a nice one this is like an extra tall beer glass situation I'm going to remove this 
and let's start brewing. Ooh, I gotta wipe this down, I'm dusty. Look at all of that foam. Oh my God, I think that's the best part about Nespresso coffee is all the foam it produces. Beautifully brewed, it smells, still smells like coffee. It smells really good. Mm. Because obviously it's bitter, I am gonna put just a little bit of the Tarani caramel sauce, just a little bit to sweeten it. And then I'm gonna put some Oatly Barista Edition oat milk and then just a splash of creamer for more of like a creamy consistency. And I'm gonna froth that so we can have more foam and then I'll show you guys. So this hyper chiller makes your coffee instantly cold without diluting it you just literally spin it for 60 seconds and it makes it icy icy cold so it doesn't dilute further when you are adding your ice to it so i just finished making the decaf coffee and i took a sip because it was literally overflowing and i actually like it i had to add some caramel this is not it was going to be way too bitter and i didn't want to oversaturate it with too much creamer but adding the caramel definitely added that perfect amount of sweetness not too sweet where you feel like you're about to get diabetes but not bitter because i don't really like bitter coffee so this is actually really nice if you were to give this to me and like ask me if it tastes different from like a caffeinated coffee I probably won't be able to tell the difference like it tastes really good this will be nice for like a day where I stay up editing and it's late I don't want the caffeine like later on in the day but I want that taste of coffee I feel like this pod will be perfect for those nights Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog I believe I'm starting a new vlog I don't even know. I have like three vlogs that I'm currently like in between. So I hope this is the start of a new vlog. If not, it's the next day. I am going to be doing my skincare really quick because I have exactly 20 minutes to get ready. So let's do my makeup. Um, my makeup, my skincare. No makeup today. I want to go for a really glowy skincare today. So let's see what I can dive into. I got this really cute little container at some store around me and um it's so cute because it literally keeps all of my skincare i need to get another one so that i can put like the tubs like the little tubs situation so maybe we can do that today i am chugging so much water today because i feel like i'm so dehydrated look at my really cute cup from etsy you guys i am obsessed i can link it down below for you guys there's tons of custom fall cups on Etsy if you guys want like something different and unique go to Etsy I just chugged all that water <laughs> I wasn't kidding I am really dehydrated so I'm gonna put some Laneige um, lip mask on my lips colder season is officially here my skin feels it my body feels it my hair feels it everybody feels it it's really really cold I'm going with the CeraVe hydrating hydrolonic serum this one is such a classic for me I always have it in my stash I'm actually running out of it so I need to oh I got a moco ew I got a little moco nasty this one is essential always have it in my little skincare section because my skin gets so dry let's go in with the what is it not the ordinance oh right here it's the it's skincare bye bye dullness and it also has a vitamin c so i'm gonna just take a couple pumps of this this is really liquidy so you want to move fast for sure i'm gonna use the i unpackaged it the other day it's the fresh moisturizer and i don't know where it is this is the fresh black tea firming eye serum just for my under eyes to keep them youthful as much as i can so i'm gonna take a few pumps of that just rub it in last but not least spf slash moisturizer which is from dermalogica this one has spf 50 in it which is why i always use it i just love this one because it doesn't give me a white cast like my skin doesn't stay looking white but it also stays glowy and moisturized so i really like that so my skincare is done now we can move on to my hair get it out of this towel i have been so bad at using regular towels for my hair and the only reason why i do it is because i have been styling my hair more on drier hair versus soaking soaking wet hair and so that's why i have been just using a regular towel i have this little tool to just help like depuff my face a little bit in the mornings i literally just woke up by the way 
if you can't tell. Like you guys are the first people I'm talking to. <laughs> so I am really sleepy. It's like super early right now. So I found the new styling lotion in Marshalls this weekend and this is the Urban Hydration Honey Leave-In Conditioner Daily Moisture and Styling Lotion. I don't know why I thought this was an actual styling lotion but it says it's a leave-in conditioner. I got it for $5.99 so super affordable. I bought two of them because I know Urban Hydration is really good and when I did try them I really liked them. So I'm going to be doing this combination and then we'll just hang out together for the rest of the day okay let's go I'm tired oh my goodness hello welcome to my blog What's up? <gasps> babe I feel so congested what happened to me done styling my hair for the most part I didn't even use the gel I just wanted to see how this worked on its own but I did have to use a lot of it I feel like in order for my hair to actually feel moisturized it looks really nice and shiny and I also see a lot of definition which is really good it's a good sign so this is what it looks like I'm gonna air dry for the day and let's see what the day goes I'm in the car now and I just finished driving like half an hour to a Honda dealership but it's not no it's not a dealership it's like the auto parts place where they like fix your car my husband has a Honda and he was due for a like oil change or something like that so I followed him here so that he's not like stuck here and stranded here for like four to five hours and in that time we can like run our errands I have a couple of things that I want to get done today so I have to go to Staples I have to go to BJ's I have to go to Ulta because I want to try out the new Milani lipsticks that has been a viral on TikTok but the only place it's available is in 86th Street downtown and I really we don't want to go downtown because that's kind of far especially since we drove so far up to come to like the honda place so it's like is it gonna make sense i don't know it might be worth it or i can also like check to see if walgreens has it or something but online it's literally sold out everywhere so i have to go in store to get it and i really want to get it because it looks like it's going to be the perfect nude for like everyday use so i really 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 want to get it i'm like, trying to think what else i have to do this is why writing a to-do list is very important oh i have to make an appointment for milo because he is scratching a lot again and he's also losing hair so i need to figure that out this is like the third time we've gone in for the same thing and I need to like see if we can do some tests to see like what he's allergic to so that we don't have to keep going to the vet every single time we haven't had any food I haven't had any coffee I really want an iced coffee oh and then the most exciting thing that I'm like so excited about today is that I got the new iPad mini from Apple obviously where else I'm so excited I want to unbox it I mean it's been delayed for like a whole week now so I'm hoping I'm like trying not to get too excited because if it doesn't arrive today let me turn off the car. I didn't even see you coming in. Huh? I didn't even see. I didn't see you in the bathroom. Yeah. What was that? So much better over here. Yeah. It's very yeah. Easy. yeah. Hello. One twenty-four.
little bit later well <laughs> way later it's actually four o'clock right now it was actually really early when i started this vlog but as you can see i am back home now i just made myself an iced coffee because my energy levels today you guys were just non-existent i was so tired so grumpy too like sometimes i feel bad for my husband you know don't you guys feel bad sometimes like oh, i'm sorry i was a little moody or like when you're hangry and you come out kind of snappy and you feel bad i mean they have their days too don't get me wrong my husband has his grumpy days too but today was mine but now i am feeling so much better because i made a nice coffee and it just like instantly lifted my mood and i feel really excited now to get things done but to my defense i have been really tired because i have been in this decluttering mood like you guys have no idea like i didn't film anything for youtube but if you guys follow me on instagram then you know what i'm talking about i redid my closet i completely got rid of so many things that i just didn't want anymore and that i figured would be better off in someone else's household someone else's hands and i got rid of so many things and i feel so light like knowing that i can open a closet and it's clutter free makes me feel so so good and brings me joy i have been in one of those moods i have to do these cabezas that's over here like i have to do that as well i'm thinking of quickly just getting some things out because we're going to my husband's cousin's house that they live a couple blocks down so i can probably just like drop off some stuff to her so she can have it and yeah but like i mentioned i have been writing my to-do list on my little notepad and i kind of already started something for wednesday so today's tuesday i don't know if i mentioned that but today is tuesday and you guys probably there you go so i have like my to-do list so i've been writing it down on my phone and it's been really helpful because sometimes i have like a million things running in my head and i completely forget things and so writing it down always helps you can also put it in your reminders or you can also put it in your calendar and that also really helps as well tomorrow is looking like a really busy crazy day as well so i need to just write things down so that i know the dogs actually have a vet appointment um tomorrow so let me just put that in here Oh, they have an appointment at 12 tomorrow and then a team call and i have a team call at two really quick oh first of all let's address the hair because i if i don't address it i'm gonna forget my hair is now dry so clearly it's been a minute since i was on camera my hair is now dry and i love it i love it that cream is actually really good if you want more definition i will apply the gel again i didn't use eco style gel just for the front like the little trick that i tell you guys to avoid frizz around your hairline so i did use eco gel around here but everywhere else i did not use eco style gel and my hair feels really light so i have been liking it just like wild and more voluminous on day one which is always nice i did air dry my hair and so that's why we have like some flattage over here it's the only thing i don't like about about air drying but it's fine let's just ignore it this coffee by the way it's so good <laughs> it's literally hitting the spot right now literally brought me back to life i went to walgreens remember i was telling you guys that i was gonna go downtown thank god i didn't go downtown because they had it in walgreens literally right around my house so i went to walgreens and they had the viral lipsticks from milani that everyone was talking about on tiktok if you didn't know like if you don't keep up with tiktok i really don't keep up with tiktok but we went over to instagram too so i started i went into like a little rabbit hole on tiktok looking at a bunch of videos and these lipsticks really called my attention from milani they look like they're gonna be really good everyday shades especially these three right here i got a total of five out of the six shades this is what the nude ones look like so pretty i can't wait to like wear them and swatch them and then i got two darker shades over here and the packaging looks so luxe i haven't unboxed or anything or taking it out of the packaging so we're gonna do that right now oh and then i also picked up this wet and wild photo focus foundation the shade caramel i remember loving the photo focus foundation but it's been a hot minute since i've used it and so i'm pretty sure mine is expired and uh, on a regular day basis you guys i don't wear makeup anymore i used to always wear makeup and now i don't oh i didn't even tell you guys what shades i got so i got the shade the dog siempre haciendo tanta bulla okay so i have teas i have pleasure i have passion i also have the shade desire and then i think i have one more called secret 
So I took them out of the packaging and I wanted to show it to you guys a little bit better. Aren't they so pretty? Like even the packaging alone is so beautiful. So when I do my makeup later on, we are going to test it out and see how it looks. In the meantime, I have to clean up my desk. My desk is such a mess that I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna sit there and film because I can't be in chaos. Like, I know I can't. Yum. So let's get to cleaning so I can get some editing done for at least a solid hour and a half. And then we can get ready and test out like this new makeup. I just finished doing my makeup now we can finally test out the lipstick so i have the elf 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 <laughs> the elf this is the retro paradise one like the darkest one close to the darkest shade that comes in the trio so i outlined in my lips i'm gonna put a little in the middle and i'm gonna go in with the color teeth i feel like this is the one that called my attention the most so let's see what we can get milo Ooh, it's very creamy. This is a nice color. So this is what it looks like without any like gloss. I just combined that lip liner and the lipstick and I like how it looks. I feel like it's super comfortable, super nice. But if I wanted to make it a little bit more like nudie, I can layer this one, which is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. This is what it looks like. I can put just a little bit. I feel like it made it kind of like blend everything together and I like how that looks I think this is a really nice combination what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below 